this here in Claire's home is uh, it's a great place. It's they're making history and they're saving history at the same time. And they're saving these old hangars. They're uh, the history here is great. And what what the people need to know out there in Canada is this base is just like the 90 plus bases across Canada, and they graduated. 140,000 combat aircrew from these kinds of bases. No major raid, bombing raid in World War II could have been a major bombing raid without this kind of facility to train the airmen to go fly those combat airplanes. And for me as a historian, the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan is one of Canada's greatest achievements in over 150 years of Confederation. And I'm not kidding about that. And they are trying their best to do what they can with them. We've lost one hangar. It uh, got so, so badly dilapidated it was condemned and bulldozed. But out of the seven hangars, there's still six left. And all but a couple of them are have got companies in them that are, are restoring or rebuilding them into into uh, uh, viable industrial buildings like the, these hangars are in fact in the industrial park now uh, but the local municipality is also working on building the airport uh, they've just uh, built a bunch of new lots for new hangars but uh, these hangars are in, in quite an interesting building and in they I think they cover an acre there's an acre under roof on these buildings yeah I like to see these as I first time Carl brought me out here, but there's something about it. There's a few places that some of the old buildings left, not much, but it brings back a lot of memories. It makes you feel good just to think you were through this stuff once, and a lot of people never got the chance. We were a good working crew, and uh, same as anybody else, I guess, but we had good navigators, and bomb aimer, they looked after, laid out the plot, the road for us going over. And they'd make sure, they knew all the hot spots where they'd try to go around them, but they couldn't get too far off track. You'd be late or early getting on the target. But I don't know, it just seemed like we worked together and everything worked out. But uh, a lot of guys just didn't have the luck. It had to be the luck and the good Lord was looking after us. Somebody was looking after us.